Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video we are going to do a speed test comparison between the iPad Air and the iPad Mini 2 with Retina display. What we'll do is we'll run some benchmarks on those devices uh, and which is going to measure the processor and memory performance on both of these devices. This is a curious test because both of these devices come with the same A7 processor and they come with the same amount of memory. Uh, they're practically the same in processor and memory power. The only difference is that the iPad Air actually has a core clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, but the iPad Air Mini has a, has a CPU core which is clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. So we have a difference of 0.1 gigahertz of uh, processing power, which is a lot of power, and it is going to reflect in the final benchmarks, but not by a large margin. So hopefully what this benchmark will show you guys who may be trying to decide between the iPad Air and the iPad Mini that the only difference you should concern yourself with is the size of the screen and the weight of the device. There's really nothing else that is different with these guys. They can run the latest apps that require a lot of processing power with ease, total ease, and both can do the same. Unlike the iPad Mini that we had last year, which was infinitely inferior to the iPad 4th generation that we had uh, back in those days, which was just a couple months ago, by the way, but still. So now you have iPad Mini and the iPad, and they have the same processing power, same graphical power, so any games you play on the iPad Air will play just as good and look just as good on the iPad Mini 2 with the Retina display. Okay, so let's quickly make sure nothing is running in the background so we can run benchmarks properly on a clean slate. So let's launch Geekbench 3, which measures the processor and memory performance on different devices. Okay, so let's run at the same time just to see which one completes quicker. And then we will compare the results when we're done. iPad Air is done and the iPad Mini 2 follows. So let's look at the single core performance. The iPad Air has a 1482 score and the iPad Mini 2 has a 1394 score. On the multi-core the iPad Air has 2694 and the iPad Mini 2 has 2522. So by a tiny margin the iPad Air outperforms the iPad Mini 2 and that is because they do have a different clock rate. But overall, these are both impressive results, and they will uh, produce very, very beautiful, fast-performing apps for you guys. And again, let me repeat, for people that are trying to make a decision between an iPad Mini 2 and an iPad Air, the only thing you guys should consider is the size of the screen and the weight of the device, because everything else is practically the same. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.